Praise you, Abba. You are good. Your grace and your mercy endures forever. Endeavor is your faithfulness. Isaiah. 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 Even, uh, even after... Even after all this, chapter 5, verse 25, even after all this, his anger remains. His upraised hand still threatens. After all the warning, after all the woe, the woe of the warning, woe, the woe, the woe, the woe, the woe. Even after all this, this is why Yahweh's anger is blazed up against his people, why he stretched out his hand against them and struck them who his people. So therefore, even after all this, his anger still remains. His upraised hand still threatens his people. And he got some form too. He finna tax us, right? He will give a signal to faraway nations. Listen to this, brothers. He will give a signal to faraway nations. He will whistle for them to come from the ends of the earth. And here they come so fast, none of them tired or stumbling, none of them sleepy or drowsy, not, none of them with a loose belt, none with a broken sandal strap. Their arrows are sharp, and their bows are strung, their horses' hoofs are like flint, and their chariot wheels are like a whirlwind. And they roar like lions, just roaring like young lions. They growl and seize their prey and carry it off, and no one, with no one to rescue. On that day, they will growl at them. Like the sea when it growls. Hmm. Message, and when one looks toward the land and sees darkness closing in, the light is dissipated in the obscuring overcast. This is not Israel. This is who he's sending against us. He will give a signal to faraway nations. He will whistle for them to come. Why? Because after all this, his anger still remains. His upraised hands through threats. And this is how they're going to come at us. <clears throat> this is how they came at us. He will, signal to a, he will give a signal to a faraway nation. He will whistle for them to come from the ends of the earth. And here they come so fast. None of them tired or stumbling. None of them sleepy or drowsy. None of them with a loose belt. None with a broken sandal strap. Their arrows are sharp. All their bows are strung. Their horses' hoofs are like flint. And their chariot wheels are like a whirlwind. They will roar like lions, just roaring like lions. They growl and seize the prey and carry it off with no one to rescue. On that day. See, when he talks about that day, that's the day of punishment, judgment. We already know that, right? Whenever they, when, On that day, whenever you see those three words, on that day, hey, that's a troublesome day. On that day, they will growl. I mean, from the Old Testament to the New, from the Brihadi Shah, right, to the Tanakh. On that day. To the Prophet, right, right? On that day. On that day, they will growl, growl at them. Like the sea when it growls. And when one looks for the land, one sees darkness closing in. The light is dissipated in the obscuring overcast. Can't see the light. Because of the overcast. Obscure is our vision. Darkness closing in. Why? Because anger remains. Because we didn't listen or heed the woes. Let those who have ears hear. Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah.